Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nero, and this is Serral versus Rainer, where Rainer is a Protoss. This is one of the most talked about series from Home Story Cup. Rainer, you may have known him as a top three world Zerg. Well, he chose to fight against top three world Zerg Serral with Protoss. And you might be like, oh, why is that? The answer is, I don't know. It's pretty good. But is it better than Rainer's Zerg? I don't know. Nevertheless, he chose to do it and was able to box with him at the highest level of combat, which shows just his versatility and range as a player. He can play Zerg, he can play Protoss. What is he going to do on Rat Husset Station? This is a very turtly map. You've got a ramp here and then a pocket third base or fourth, whatever you want to call this. And then just a whole bunch of debris and then a bunch of mineral patches over here. Wild choices so far. Rainer gonna play some pretty straight up macro. Nothing too weird about it. Gateway into a Nexus into Cybercore. As standard as it gets. The respect. No cannon rush this game. Maybe some of the time. Goes for the Adept. Where does the Chrono get spent? The Chrono goes into the probes. That's fair. Double probe Chrono. Rainer likes making drones. He also likes making probes when he plays his Protoss. One probe starting to mine these patches to take the pocket third base. Let's see what tech he goes for this game. Serral's Overlord. He's curious. He's like, hey guys, what are you guys doing over here? Goes over and there's a Phoenix. Wow, what an interesting call. A Phoenix first. Pretty good on this map. You can pretty much just rule out Overlords with one Phoenix. Yep, he's just going to kill him. Going to kill those overlords. Warp Gate Research has done these two gateways. Warp. And this oracle also warps. Warp. Serral drones. He's getting three base saturation. Queen's lair. Roach Warren. So notice there's nothing really different with how Serral is opening this game. Aside from maybe making fewer lings. He only made eight. In some other games we've seen, he would sometimes make links to contest the third, but this map, you cannot do so because of this being in the way. Queen's trying to defend. Six drones were killed there by Rainer's Oracles. These Queen's trying to defend. I have played against Rainer's Protoss in the Monday ESL America's Cup, and I did lose to Rainer's Protoss, so... I can empathize from any struggles that someone might experience versus Rainer's Protoss. Double Assimilator going down as a third base here. Two sentries, blink, plus one. Ground weapons. Fourth base coming up for Serral, kind of expanding vertical. Sentry Stalker Adept out on the map. Managing the creep a little bit, but overall choosing to fall back here. Roach speed is done, plus one range is most of the way done. Fourth base is halfway done. Four drones fell to those oracles, I'm guessing. Hive is on the way, but then canceled. He's making swarm hosts. Oh, something made him decide to switch to swarm host Nidus. That's fine. I don't know why he did so, but he did so. Fourth base is coming up here for Rainer. It's good on this map, I suppose. He's got a Ling over here. He's got a bunch of Roaches. Stalker Sentry moving forward. A lot of Sentry energy on these. Stalkers blink up, get one Roach kill. Queen is pooping. Gets focused down by the Oracles. Nidus is going up. There's a Forge over here. The Stalkers are being made on the wrong side of the map. 
The Nidus. Cyril is Nidusing. What is Rainer's defense? He sees the Roachling advancing on him on the map. He's trying to make some Robo units. Trying to get some force fields out and fall back. But the Locusts are on the forge. That is a key structure and losing that sucks. Oh, but there's a prism in the pocket base that Cyril did not take. There could be some return damage. Two probes fall. Overall, not a ton of damage. Killing the forge was nice for Cyril, but Rainer was on two forge. So not as crippling as if there was only one. Prism is being sent around all the way into the main. These swarm hosts continuing to be a pain in the ass. Oh, the oracles trying to gun down this Nidus. Can Cyril get back in in time? The stalkers looking to focus it. Rainer jumping around between his bases, trying to catch any potential Nidus that could go down. He's trying to fix the saturation now. Double Colossi being made. More Nidus are happening. Where does he defend? The Nidus is on the right side this time. He sends in more Zealots to that natural. Colossus range is being researched at the Robotics Bay. This Nidus is up. More Nidus is coming out. Roach Queen in position to defend this. Production tab. What does Cyril make off the back of the Swarmhost Nidus? He's getting double Lurker Den plus two range attack groove spines for Hydras and an Overseer. Double Lurker Den. Could he be taking double upgrades or does he just want redundancy? Because it might be the second one. But it could be the first. Wow. Just completely destroy that Nexus. That's got to be soul crushing for Protoss. Ranger's got to be thinking, wow, Zerg is amazing. But he has a good army. He has Colossi, 22 Roach. It's not really that scary. There is an Immortal, so that counters the Roach. And then Stalkers are okay against Roaches. Ooh, the Oracles kill the Nidus exit. They're able to focus down one of these. Maybe more. Zealots being warped into the main. There are some Roaches ready to defend. Wow. Very clean defense from Cyril. Letting the Warp Prism find zero purchase. This Nidus is being killed. The Swarm Hosts are hella stuck. They may not make it out of this alive. Only three of them remain. remain uh, Mass Ling. Trying to get the surround on these heckin' stalkers. They're backed against the wall. Does Rainer go for the recall? Or just fight this out? 175 supply to 180. They're pretty even. Stalkers trying to trade out as efficiently as possible. Rainer is working with triple forge upgrades. Making some stalkers to try to defend that Nidus. 160 supply to 173. The Phoenix in the back taking out this Overseer. Changelings found in the base. Shield battery and cannon being added for Rainer. Warp Prism looking for another swoop. Another swoop into the Protoss base. These three oracles have just been alive. They've simply existed on the map for a great deal of time. Now he's going to try Prism from the left side of the map instead of the right. Double Immortal Production. Does he sniff some Lurker play? Cyril has 10 Lurkers now. Three Swarm Hosts. Four Hydras. Six Dropper Lords? Yo. Cyril, what is he doing? He's got Lurkers on defense. Roach is defending the Zealot Prism. It's a mass Doom Drop. Holy shit! He is simply sending it with a huge amount of units right into this pocket base. Oof. That is going to be gnarly to defend. Prism is trying to deal some damage over here. Cyril does has quite a bit of stuff at home he can use to defend. Does he just trade out these lurkers and try to get the drops out? I guess he does. He's pushing with the ground army. 
On the right side. Burrows these lurkers. He's burrowed the swarm host and they're going to harass this base. Just maximum annoyance. He's sending his opponent as many notifications as possible. Hi, you've received two swarm host locusts of damage at your fourth base. Oh my gosh, thank you for letting me know. Hi, you have four locusts in your third base. Oh my gosh. Thank you. I'm glad I know that. Sarah was trying to make as many lurkers as possible and fall back. Rainer is on the front foot now. Six corruptors are out. Is this for the old six broodlord switcheroo? He's making four broods right now. Nidus is being made as well. His camera is moving so fast. Chat needs a barf bag. Lurkers here in position for defense. This upper base is not taken. The lurkers are pre-split. This one swarm host is simply a nuisance to the Protoss. Not actually killing anything, but definitely tilting people. <laughs> Two oracles are in the main here. Can the Queen Hydra take them out? It's going to be a yes. Two lurker harass. More difficult to defend than you would think. These two swarm hosts are still over here. And this swarm host is still over here. Man. He is absolutely getting every little bit of value from every unit that he has. Colossus Archon Immortal Sentry. Taking a very commanding position on the map, but it's all for nothing whenever you can't mine at your most important base. Wow. More locusts going in, and he's going to do a follow up drop. Damn, this is how you play this map. You just do heavy drop play. That's cool. Heavy drop and Nidus play. I can respect it. He burrows one roach. Jeez. So dynamic. So multifaceted. He's got plus three range attack, plus one armor. <clears throat> plus two armor is almost done. Six Broodlords with two more on the way. Plus one air attack, plus two melee attack, plus one air armor. Ultra Cavern. Queen. Goodness gracious, both players are maxed out with a bank. <clears throat> Rainer actually has more of a bank. Believe it or not. Colossi Archons Immortals. Two sentries. He can't get through. <clears throat> Roach Hider drop. He drops them. These are very heavily upgraded units. But can they punch through this many buildings? The answer is yes. Buildings do not benefit from upgrades. And these units are strong. Ah, but the stalker count. With the zealots may be enough. Rainer is pushing at the front. Cyril does have quite a few brood lords here, and there are no stalkers to blink on these, so the broods can pretty much just run at this army. Rainer trying to split up and fall back. 193 supply to 188. Rainer with the mineral lead. He's got this base, he's making cannons. But Cyril has things to say about this. Man, there's even area here on the map? This is valid Nidus. I've never tried a Nidus this far in this corner. It seems like it'd be hard to get vision here. Does Rainer find it? He finds it. Wow. Lurker Nidus now. After the Swarm Host Nidus mid game, we have a Lurker Nidus late game. Trying to go and defend that. His army walks across midfield. These lings absolutely cooked. Is he gonna go with this? Okay, so just backs out. Now Kinitis over here. Lings looking to delay this gold base. Broodlord's pushing back the main army. 
Really interesting to note that the Broodlords don't ever turn into a normal push. He's not making the Broodlords and then going for a push. He's using the Broodlords to not die to a main army push. And then he's continuing to deal damage with Lurkers and Lynx. It's interesting, because I just get Broodlords and I think, Broodlord is a strong unit, and then I go throw the game. Serral makes a set number of Broods, and then he just keeps them with his Queens on creep and doesn't die. It's wise, it's patient. He gets the damage done with units that actually move with some speed greater than two. Archons, Immortals, Colossi, Sentries, pushing in here. Rainer's going for a big push. He has a three supply lead. Broods engaging the army. Fungal on these Archons. The Corruptors focus down a Colossi. Rainer's going for more bases down here. Rainer still has more money. Cyril has more of a gas bank. Rainer has way more of a mineral bank. Both players not quite maxed. And Rainer is not switching into air, but he does have plus three air weapons on the way. So he can go air if he chooses to. He just has chosen not to so far. Nice networks being set up. This is simply a subway system for the Zerg. This isn't even to deal damage. It's just trying to allow people to get from home to work more quickly, you know? Maybe you work over in that area. Maybe, maybe not. Creep denial's been pretty insane. Yeah, Serral's creep is punched in. He's stuck. Whoa, whoa, whoa! He killed his own Colossi. I think that was on purpose because they're countered by his army. I guess. Oh, he baits the Broodlords forward. Focuses down one of them. The Fungals very nearly dealing damage to the Protoss units. Oh, the Stalkers getting on top of these Broods. Lurkers come out of the Knives to try to help. Man, insanely good control from Raynor. That's really hard to micro into that. He is kind of making it work. He has a huge bank. What is he going to build? Cyril can just keep making Broodlord Lurker. Do you have to go air now? He's still playing with a tier 2 army. I guess Archons are tier 3. He's got the Phoenix from the early game here. It's a mentor with 7 kills. If anyone needs to get in a mentorship program, they can ask this Phoenix. Actually, it's going to die here, but... Until that point, that Phoenix led a lot of mentorship programs and classes. Oh! He zooms around it! And he's going for this army. ah yeah! Wow, the Lurker, though. The Lurkers presented a problem. Rainer is still maxed. Six drones are falling. He has an enormous run-by. The Zealots are all up in the Zerg's business. The Lurkers hitting these Zealots. But there are Zealots in the main base as well. And there's a push over here on the right-hand side. Broodlord's trying to get in position to defend. What is Raynor making behind this? He's making a mothership plus three air weapons and six carriers at a time. All right, here's the air switch now. Now that you've gotten the Zerg to make Broodlords and Lurkers, now it's time to go Sky Toss. This is not a lot of anti-air from Zerg. Eight Corruptors, nine Infestors and nine hydras and some spores. Oh, the Ling's getting a lot of damage. 
before the zealots finish warping in but these zealots have three 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 upgrades the lings do burrow man what a game what a video game this match is lings coming out of the night is here ling lurker nidus he's gonna use these to attack the space no doubt cyril has a big bank 6.7k 4k bank when is Sarah going to pounce with the Ling Lurker? Hydra's trying to defend here. He's getting back out of the Nidus. The Zealots go for a run by. He may get ready to go here. The space doesn't have too much. He's going for this space. Rainer has not really revealed the carriers yet. Where are the carriers? Yeah, he's hiding them in his base. So Cyril might guess just based on the phase of the game and the lack of Rainer's supply that's shown. Could be Carrier. Lurker's trying to trade out in the most glorious way possible. They might escape. Nope, they're observers here. They're dead. Okay. What does he make then? Six queens. Interesting. Six queens. Oh, the mothership is going to... Teleport the carriers, maybe? Carriers going topside. The Lings get a cancel on this base. The Immortal can't defend that many Lings by itself. Mothership teleports in the ground army. And then is killed. That was a cool play. Wow. And then does the other Protoss recall. Wow. Nice. 169 supply to 187. Both players still have banks. Jeez. Changelings and Nidus. Consistently trying to be a thorn in the side of the opponent. With Nidus play. With the Lurkers. That is a lot of carriers. 13 Corruptors are being made. 5 Void Rays from Protoss. So Protoss has how many carriers? 6 carriers and then he stopped making them actually. And now he's making some Voids. Interesting. 55 workers for both players. Which means if they're both maxed they have the same army supply. It also means they have fairly low eco. Raynor has been able to mine out this gold. This gold base is still fresh and new. No one has established business here. Carriers and High Templar. Very good complements to each other. Corruptor Brood Lord. Viper Infester Spore. It's really interesting that he's using the two groups separately. Almost every Protoss will have these things all in one big clump. But Rainer has a High Templar Carrier Void Ray team. And an Archon Immortal Zealot team. It's like he's playing two styles of Protoss at the same time. And he's actually pushing in and it's working. You can use control groups? That's awesome! Look at this. The Carrier High Templar is doing stuff and these guys are doing stuff. He could maybe even recall these out for all I know. Or he's trying to trade them out. I'm not sure, but these units are definitely stuck. Definitely stuck immortals. Do we recall? No, oh, they will fight. They will fight to the last! Now what do you make? Production tab. Oh, he just got a shitload of stalkers now. Okay. We're teching back to stalkers. Corruptor, Broodlord, Viper, Infester, Overseer. The number of Overseers with this army is five. And five is the number of Overseers with this army. Fungal goes out. More Fungal. Queens transfusing the Broods. More Fungals. Storms on all the Queens. Production tab, four Corruptors, one Brood. 
the chain fungal just chipping at so many of these stalkers and then more ling pressure Cyril is just looking for a base looking for a base that has more probes than static defense so far it's only really this base and there is an army next to it What a crazy game. 186 supply to 172. Their banks have been diminished by virtue of them stabbing at each other with massive armies. This base is mining out. The map is getting pretty dry. This base is fresh. This base is fresh. And this base is half. No, it's like, it's almost empty. This base is okay. It's got some mins here. Got some gas. Whoa, Ling Hydra versus Zealot Archon. And then another battle down here at the same time. Jeez. StarCraft is already hard. Playing two StarCraft games at once is even harder, and that's what these two gentlemen are doing right now. There's a skirmish up top that's occurring while there's a main army kind of engagement down here. Whew. People are getting sweaty just from watching this game. Broodlords. Throwing out Broodlings. Getting an Archon. That's big. Storm goes out. That's a lot of damage on the Broods, but they live. Ling Hydra Lurker on the left-hand side. These units are all on one control group. He's trying to lure these back into the lurkers. Oh no, don't follow me this way. Wasn't Raynor Zerg main? Yes, he's still technically a Zerg main, but lately he's been sometimes rolling in some Protoss. If he gets a Zerg opponent, he played Protoss twice against Cyril. And apparently he is very strong with it. He's doing stuff which we haven't seen out of a lot of Protoss, which is having two separate groups of stuff very far from each other. I'm kind of joking there are other Protoss who do this, but it's impressive to watch for sure. Both players are managing two big sets of army at the same time. And also macro. And also making static defense. And also scouting each other. You cannot take that gold base. There are broods on the high ground. Oh my gosh. There are a couple Tempests now. Three Tempests in the mixture. Let's see what difference those units make. The Lings kill this base. Rainer still has a pretty big bank of minerals. Their gas banks are dwindling though. The Infestors are burrowed. They could do something of value. Or simply die when they go in. Zealot Archon Stalker. With the knobs. Mass Carrier. Yeah, comparing this game to other matches that we've watched of Serral today. The creep being really punched in is a major difference. Part of that's because Serral open with the Nidus style, but even still. This kind of army is so tricky to control. It's got like four different caster units. Queens, Infestors, Vipers, Overseers. Wow! The Broods. The carriers doing the dance. Units lost time. Who's being more efficient? Cyril is being more efficient. Rainer still has a strong army up top here. This space is totally mined out. Cyril is almost out of cash. He desperately needs this gold base. Most of the map is mined out. This gold is mined out. This space is Rainer's last, like, really full good base. This space is starting to mine out. Broods are pushing in. This base is mining out as well. This base has got a bit. 
A bit of stuff. Is this army going to join the other one? Just a secondary army over here. We're playing two games of StarCraft. Each of these matches of StarCraft is the equivalent of one NAGM. There's one, like, North America Grand Masters match that's happening top here, and another one that's happening bottom. Within the same game, but there are only two players instead of four. This is crazy. Can Raynor choke out Cyril before Cyril runs out of money? Drones are being sent to this gold. Rainer's going for it. Some fungal's going out. Neural's one of the Archons. Feedback. Ground army is falling back. The air army is thinking about going in. Corruptors. Trying their best to kill these interceptors that come out. Lurker Ultra. They really want to kill this base. There's one pylon powering all of that. Oh, GG is called. Wow. Rainer wins it. Insane gaming. Playing a less efficient style with the units lost tab. Impressive. Well played, Rainer. Beating the best Zerg in the world with his off race. Because he prefers PVZ over ZVZ. Well played.